Hey guys, today we're going to look at a full Renogy solar system I put together for my off-grid shed. Um, I just did not want to run a wire to the shed and I wanted a little bit of a hobby. Um, so today I'm going to show you basically everything that's here in the shed. First we're going to start off with uh, 300 amp hour gel batteries. These are going to be a 30 amp charge each so I can charge it up to 90 amps and also they do only run 20 amps constant which I actually found out trying to run an air conditioner um, but these are going to have a better life cycle than AGM flooded not lithium of course um, but I'll just show you everything I got um, I am running 4 gauge parallel so from one to two to the third and then on the back side I am running my negative uh, from one to two to the third um, you do always want to run everything on one positive and then the opposite on the re reverse for the negative so positive over here negative is over here um, I do have my 200 amp breaker for my Renogy 2000 watt pure sine wave um, it does have a 4000 watt capacity um, for a surge which is great for starting like uh, air, uh, compressors on air conditioners or you know fridge fridges do take a capacitor to uh, get a little bit more of a surge uh, which I found out on a uh, small 400 watt inverter that I had it, it literally couldn't even start a little refrigerator I have over here but on the other side I have a shunt and this is the shunt that's going to be for um, monitoring my batteries so together I have 300 amp hours um, and it's all monitored right here on the top and it actually shows how many amp hours are approximately left um, gives me a better decent idea of percentage also gives me the time remaining and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute so from the batteries to the inverter of course how are we going to put the power back in well we have the rover 40 amp mppt charge controller by renogy um, uh, for 12 volt <clears throat> it's going to be 520 watts capable um, or if you're running 24 volt system uh, that's going to be uh, i think it was a thousand 1080 um, I'm on 12 volt right now and so I can go up to 520 I actually have 600 watts total on this system I did over panel um, what 40 amp means is basically um, you it can charge the batteries at 40 amps that's what it can go up to so what you got to be careful on is your voltage is the main scare um, I have two parallel of three series so what that means is I have three panels in series negative to positive negative to positive negative to positive and so what that means is I have three in series so if the voltage is uh, 20 volts open circuit that's going to be 60 volts um, this MPPT controller can take up to a hundred volts um, now now that I have three panels in series I have another three panels that are in series so a total of another 60 volts uh, but they are parallel so what that means is basically just like my batteries are parallel um, that means I'm gonna have 60 volts and 60 volts they're gonna come together parallel stay 60 volts and all that happens is the amperage is what's combined um, instead of uh, the voltage so basically what that means is I'm running 60 volts open circuit to the MPT, MPPT controller and from there it's going to uh, it's going to bring it in and it's going to do a better conversion that's why you like MPPT controllers it's a better conversion um, and a lot more efficient than a PWM I did have a 40, 30 amp PWM uh, solar controller and I had 400 watts on it and it would put out um, 27 about 28 amps 
when it was in full sun directly at the sun uh, cooler temperatures of course um, temperature does have a factor on how efficient your panels are um, I over paneled 80 watts technically um, for those cloudy days because during uh, during cloudy days with my PWM 400 watts I was lucky to get 80 watts now with 600 watts I know it is an extra 200 watts but I was able to get 250 watts on a cloudy day which was impressive um, so MPPT uh, maximum uh, point power tracking that allows it to find a better voltage to do the conversion at to get a better charge on those cloudy days which we all need because um, you're gonna have cloudy days and you still gotta have power so what I've got here on the right is my PV breaker so this is a 40 amp I think it's a 600 volt um, negative and positive so if there's an issue on either side it pops um, and that goes into my MPPT controller um, this is a 10 gauge and the reason I can run 10 gauge with 600 watts is because my voltage is higher um, amperage is what it comes down to um, so I could actually run a total of 30 amps through these 10, 10 gauge wires um, and it would not be an issue um, which those are the original wires I used for my uh, 400 watt setup so I was able to just continue using them now where I did have to upgrade was my wire to my batteries so I upgraded from to, uh, to 8 gauge which I'm using a 40 amp fuse um, that I purchased through Renogy as well um, this is going to be uh, going di directly down to the batteries I'm using a negative directly to the battery but the positive does have a uh, fuse on it so and it's nice to have spares just in case um, a lot of people w were giving me a lot of crap about the um, 40 amp over paneling and with that the MPPT controller was really worried about the voltage I'm not because I'm at 60 volts I'm not gonna hurt anything it actually likes to do the best charging right around 48 volts um, so it'll actually match the panels about 48 volts and I've seen so far out of uh, out of my 600 watt panel I have seen uh, 510 to 515 watts um, out of that controller and that was was 600 watts and I think I was running 38 uh, 38 amps so all the MPPT controller is going to do at 40 amps is it's going to start um, it's going to start uh, limiting meaning it's only going to do 40 amps so I could put 600 watts to this and you can do the math on this but uh, um, depending on your in your actual outgoing voltage if your voltage to your battery is lower and you have a higher amp if you have a high wattage coming in that means your amperage is going to go up um, that's how you can go over with your panels is you have to look at the voltages um, now the monitor on the top I know I'm jumping around here a little bit this is actually one of my first videos I've done um, explaining the system uh, but the monitor and we'll go ahead and get a little bit closer here the monitor shows me 291 amp hours left and it shows 98 percent and at the load of 114 115 watts I can run for 32 hours now, of course, on these, you don't want to go anything more than 50%, uh, uh, which is going to be about 150 amp hours. So you could say you got about 15, 16 hours at that. Now, I am running two LED lights in the shed here. And also, here's that fridge we were talking about. Um, it's just a small apartment fridge for the sodas for me and my son. <clears throat> so what's nice about the shot is it shows you uh, the voltage the batteries are at and how many amps you're drawing and it actually shows the uh, the two arrows saying hey it is discharging and that's at 114 watts now when it's charging everything is going to be opposite it'll show you the voltage of course like normal but it'll be a plus however many amps are going into the battery and wattage is going to be what's coming into the batteries as well and the time remaining is actually going to be an idea of how much time you got until the batteries are full um, at that 
at that voltage and at that amperage. And of course, your as normal, your uh, percentage. And except charging is going to be the arrows are going to be going up. And this LCD screen is going to be kind of kind of pulsing to let you know that it is charging. And it is actually a uh, um, it's a lighted screen. So and you can also turn it off. There you go. And that's what it looks like with the light off. <clears throat> so here's the MPPT controller, 40 amp. It's going to show you the solar, the arrow to the battery. And I usually have it on amps, which I like about uh, the rovers is you can actually leave it on a screen. So right now it's uh, 8.30 at night. There's no sun. We're all done for the day. So it's going to be zero amps. Um, the panel voltage is 0.7. It's nighttime. And then that's going to be the voltage at the battery, excuse me, for the load. I have zero errors. Um, now the worst error that I, I could see, because I am over paneling, is uh, I believe it was an E8. An E8 is going to be a uh, limiter. It's basically going to be throttling it back to stick at the uh, 40 amps. Um, and then 15. Um, you have one through, uh, I think it was uh, 15 settings. Um, 15 setting is for your load. That means that whatever you have on your load terminals, um, you can manually turn it off and on. There's a little LED letting you know what's on. I actually have a tablet in here that is on the Bluetooth adapter. Um, and then there's the temperature. I do have to switch this over to Fahrenheit, not a big deal. Um, that's the battery temperature. The rovers do come with a battery temperature, which is nice. Um, you just stick it right to the side of your batteries or in the same compartment. I do right to the side of the battery so it has an idea temperature of the battery itself. Um, this screen is going to be for the battery going to the load. It has discharged zero amp hours, so it's literally just keeping a tablet charged for me. So it's, it's going to be nothing, basically. Maybe one or two. Um, so today, my system has produced 136 amp hours. Not bad, right? 136 amp hours. And then uh, right now, it's drawing uh, 0.1 amps to my load. The bulb is a little load here. Uh, and there's the battery voltage, 12.5, 12.6. And then it's telling me my state of charge is 72%. Um, the, the rovers just give you an idea of the state of charge. Um, of course, our system has the, a load on it right now. It is drawing 9 amps at 115 watts. So the voltage is going to be lower. So 12.7 um, is about 70%. Um, of course, with the draw on it, it's going to be lower than what it is um, sitting without a load on it. Um, resting voltage is the name I'm trying to use. Um, so that's why I like the shunt because the shunt knows what's come out of the battery and what has gone into the battery. It sees both. And then back to the amps. <clears throat> uh, also you will see on, let's see if I can find the main screen, here we go. So 12 volt, it's an auto detection. It can tell if you're on 12 volt obviously by if you're right at 12 volt. If you're pushing 23 to 25 volts this would automatically go to uh, 24 volt. Now that that is depending on your battery. Now look, there's the moon right there. Let you know that it's nighttime. Um, and this is letting you know if there's solar coming in. Right now there's not. The battery is about 70% charged. And you do have battery, you have the load on right now. So that's what this means right here. So I can literally turn this off. And there's nothing right now. And then turn it back on. There you go. And then, of course, we are using gel batteries, so I have it on the gel. So that's a nice screen to see everything going on. And I'm just going to put it back to amps right now. There we go. And then over here is going to be the PV breaker. This is one I just got off of Amazon, 500 volts, excuse me, um, C40, so 40, 40 amps. And that is that 10 gauge wire that goes out to my panels. And then uh, there's that 40 amp fuse that I'm running. Excuse the connections, they were just, they're gonna get better, I promise. 
um, and then the Renogy 2000 watt it does use a always was weird by this but it, they send you two four gauge cables two here and two here the cooling fans are on the back that's the intake the output is on the uh, is on the front and then you have a terminal block here which you can run uh, up to a sub panel if you wanted to it does come with the uh, three 15 amp outlets on it um, you're off and on switch with remote I am running the remote and then you have your on LED, your fault over on the side, and then of course uh, there's a, I can't remember which one that was, excuse me. <laughs> um, and then of course your remote wire right here, and there is a USB port, so if you want to charge something directly off it. Um, I will tell you, put a tester on the, uh, on the USB port, and it is only one amp. They say 2.1, but for some reason I only did get one amp at 5.12 volts. So um, if you are, thinking about plugging directly into it um, down here is going to be the shunt the shunt is uh, got the remote wire which is what the screen you saw up on the top and then uh, this is my main negative to my negative side of my battery excuse the red wire I ran out of black over there and then the uh, um, this one goes to the inverter right here here's your double wire and then over here is going to be the, uh, the uh, solar controller right here um, and then you do have your main red wire that's going to be for the power wire to run the screen and then um, I am running the uh, 200 amp um, breaker um, so if there's an issue that'll pop or if I draw too much and then this is the uh, manual shut off and then of course to reset these you just push them back in um, this one's going to get changed to a fuse I've been noticing that I get a uh, um, a large voltage drop. When I was running a 12,000 BTU air conditioner, I had 12.4 volts here, and then I had 12 volts here, and of course I had 12 volts here as well. So that was a huge issue for me. Um, it's been fine running small loads, but when you're running 12, 1300 watts constant, that's going to be an issue. So, and I'll give you a side look at the batteries. Like I said, Renogy uh, gel, 100 amp hour batteries, just parallel. So, um, any questions, uh, leave me a post in the comments. And uh, if there's anything I can help with, I can, uh, I'll can i try to help you. But 600 watts on a 40 amp Rover MPPT controller with shunt 2000 watt inverter, 300 amp hours of gel batteries. Um, let me know if you're looking for any of this. Renogy is a real nice uh, site. They do a great job with uh, their products and everything looks beautiful. This is just something I've thrown together in the shed and I've enjoyed it. And hopefully I can get other people to like this and uh, see more videos I'll have in the future. Thank you.